You know what I like more than two-day shipping from Amazon? One-day shipping from the town next door. And Facebook Marketplace. Uh, did some more shopping. Facebook Marketplace is kind of addicting, isn't it? And uh, I was on there, and someone was selling a cool uh, little old camera with a couple lenses, and I realized one of those lenses just so happened to be a Sigma 60 millimeter <laughs> f2.8 art lens, which is kind of awesome. So now I'm the owner of two lenses. One is the one that you're looking at right now, which is the 16 millimeter 1.4, and now the 60 millimeter. 2.8. So yeah, we're going to unbox this little guy and uh, look at it. Now this is used, obviously. I'm very thankful for the person who sent it my way. Oh, very nice. It even comes in the little... Okay, the guy really took care of me. It's got like everything in here, which is pretty epic, in my opinion. Very cool. It even has the little case. I might mount this to one of my bags, because this is really great. Let's go ahead and open this up and have a look-see at this little guy. Oh, it's silver. I was not expecting silver. And I'm not seeing a lens cap on the bottom, and now it's going to fog up like crazy as well. Uh, let's have a look here. It's got a cute little uh, cute little lens cap. It's freezing cold because we live in Montana. That is a very odd ring uh, for focus because that is there's no texture to it at all. It's just pure metal. But it does say 60 millimeter 2.8 DN. 46 uh, millimeter diameter. So, like I said, freezing cold. That's very odd. It has some weird sound. Don't know if you can hear that. Can't exactly tell what it is. We'll see if that tightens up when we attach it to the camera. Let's uh, quickly look at the optics. They look pretty clean. A little dusty, not too bad. Let's go ahead and take this lens off of my camera, which is my Pentax lens, which I love, my little 50 millimeter. And I bought the 61 to replace my 50. So let's go ahead and hook this on here. It's an art lens, so it's supposed to be a big deal. It's supposed to be a good quality one. Though I'm not a fan of that sound. That's odd. And I have no idea what's rattling around in there. So I just turned it on. Oh, instantly went away. So whatever that was, it instantly went bye-bye. So that's fine. I'm okay with that. Let's go ahead and check it out real quick. So we're going to open it up. And we're going to go to our f-stop real quick here. And let's bump it up to 2.8. Very nice. That's a good start. And then uh, let's see what kind of picture it takes. Uh, don't have much to shoot. Of course, I can quickly shoot the... Uh, um, shoot my microphone over here which right here at this distance is pretty good let's see what we get there we go that looks pretty decent and I'm really glad that noise went away that was slightly unnerving yep so whatever is up with that lens it's only when it's deactivated now the nice thing about this is it's a really really great lens for portraits which is what I specifically deal in so hopefully I'll be able to utilize this guy quite a bit and uh, for the hundred bucks that I paid for it I'll easily make my money back on this within my first portrait session uh, because I'm expecting that this is going to be my new portrait lens instead of my Pentax which is a beautiful wonderful lens but the issue is all manual and I can't use um, what they call um, IAF or eye autofocus. This should be able to focus in on your eye and lock in real easy. So very very excited about this. It's got some age to it but I'll clean it up a little bit see if I can get rid of some of the scarring no big deal and uh, that's very very cool. I won't bother showing you guys the pictures that I'm getting here unless you want to see them. If you want to see them, uh, leave a comment. I actually need to start taking these lenses out and getting pictures out in the real world for you instead of just taking pictures of my microphone in my office. So if you want to see something a little bit more serious where we actually go out into the real world and get some real pictures and talk about them later, let me know. I'll make an effort to do that because I'm going to be traveling here very soon. I'm taking this lens, my 16, and my 50 with me as we 
we go and uh, travel to Florida. And you can bet I'm going to be taking a bunch of pictures and having a good time. So if you want to learn a little bit more about this guy, let me know in the comments below. It retails usually at about $200 plus on Amazon and every other location, but I got it for only 100 bucks on Facebook Marketplace. And of course, special thanks to the gentleman who uh, sold it to me, and I don't have his name. I threw it in the garbage over there, so <laughs> you know who you are if you ever watch this. Thank you very much. I'm excited to uh, put it to work and quickly see it make its money's worth back. Thanks so much, guys, for watching. We'll see you next time. If you have any questions, comments below. Subscribe, hit the bell button. I'll see you next time. Bye.